Bruce Lawson, I'm Senior Manager for Active Cumbria. We were really pleased when Sport England and Rugby League Cares approached us as national partners of the programme to be able to utilise some of the resource that they had available to develop Rugby League in the county of Cumbria. My name is Guy Thompson and I'm a Community Sport Manager for GLL. Um, we have been running this programme across better leisure facilities across Cumbria. We've had varying degrees of success across the county. Some sessions have been quite popular, getting up to about 15 um, unique participants at the session. Some have been quite slow burners, but we have found across the county there has been some interest there, which has been getting participants down all at the same time. But the longer we have been running the project, we find we are getting more and more people involved, which has been encouraging. Act of Cumbria were really pleased that we were able to utilise our expertise in project management to set about an application process to work with local partners to identify a range of local needs-led projects. These projects went through a rigorous assessment process and we were delighted to finally select a total of nine projects and working with five local delivery partners to put on a range of activities for young people right the way through to older adults with walking rugby activities. This investment from Sport England and Rugby League Cares has made a huge difference to the opportunities for our communities across Cumbria. I'm the, um, I'm the head, like the head of the youth for uh, Barra Raiders. Um, I head up this, this project as in the junior development side of uh, the programme which I do, Barra Raiders Academy. What we're trying to do, a, a college team getting a partnership with a with the Furness College and, and starting up a college team. The players that we have here, all they all attend Furness College um, or Barrow Sixth Form College. Me, Tom Walker and Brett Carter, we play for Barrow Raiders First Team. We work within the community doing uh, coaching and development work. And uh, we uh, ask teachers to put forward names of uh, kids who they believe will benefit from this programme. We're seeing these kids open up and becoming more confident and within themselves and as a, an, in a team environment. I started off at Dalton. Uh, I've been playing there since I was about six years old. I've been training, going up with a first team and that, and I got a text off my coach saying that I've been selected for this, so it was a privilege for me to come down and get involved with everyone. I've met new people. I've gained loads of people skills. I've met new friends and that, and other than that, I've improved my rugby game. I've got more skillful. I've come stronger with the contact that we've been doing as well, so I'm really enjoying it. At Dalton, we learn basics and stuff, so now it's time to expand my game, learn more, and get better as a player and as a team player as well, so hopefully I'll go on uh, the 19s and maybe on to the first team when I'm a bit older. As soon as you turn 16, you're expected to go straight into a first team uh, amateur side and be pushed to uh, boundaries that you haven't really been pushed before, so playing in this, you get your own age group but at the highest standard you can, so you're getting the most out of everything. We've got, like you say, great facilities. If anyone does get the opportunity to go into the first team, they've got that sort of background and what the what we've got to do and what players are needed where so as soon as you go in you fit it straight in and it's just something that's I think personally is one of the best things that's happened around here for the kids. I'm Nicole Barlow, I'm the coach for the Carlisle and um, Penrith Walk and Rugby. Some of our players um, after they stopped working or after they you know, got to a certain age they sort of dropped out of um, sport and exercise altogether so they've just um, you know, started getting back into it. The team sports and, and whatnot, it sort of gets them all involved and you know, they meet new pals and that as well. Yeah, it's been a, tr a tr tremendous um, experience the walk in rugby. Um, I was m managed to be here 10 weeks ago in the initial launch and it's just as it appeared that it was going to be, it's been a fantastic uh, little bit of recreation together with the social experience, just meeting old friends and new friends on a weekly basis, coming together and um, just getting a bit of spirit and action going. Uh, we've tried to develop numbers uh, over the weeks. Some weeks have been more successful than others, but we hope that the project can be continued and developed in, in the hope that uh, as I say, everybody can still meet up on a regular basis, winter and summer, so everybody's got a social and recreational outlet. So what, walking rugby is, uh, keeps you physically fit. Well, it's no contact, but there's plenty of energy expired, and also hand-eye coordination, because you get used to passing the ball both to left and right, right and left, and some of the old skills that you've maybe used a few years ago 
come back to you and it's it's very enjoyable. Anybody can do it, really, if, as long as they're, re if, if they're reasonably physically fit. The thing about the hand-eye coordination, I think, you, you use muscles that you don't normally use. You're passing the ball back and forward, you know, you're still using skills which you maybe had years ago and you've stopped using them, especially if you get into your 50s and 60s. You know, you, some things you, you don't do as much, so, so that's great. But I think what a lot of people puts off rugby, they think they're going to get splattered across. But there's no contact. So it's reasonably safe, you know, obviously you can have that odd little thing that happens, but in the main it's a fa fairly, uh, fairly safe and uh, it can be quite enjoyable, definitely. Uh -huh.